Many developing and transition countries face major energy challenges that hamper their social, economic and industrial development. About 40% of the population having electricity and I'm can say up to 80% of the population rely on traditional biomass for cooking. This shows the enormous challenge we have uh, in energy service delivery. For us, it's a survival issue. We, we just cannot afford to continue on the petroleum energy sector, and we are there 90%. So there is need for a very rapid transformation. We all have to have research and development work. We have to have the technical consulting, project preparation, and we don't have to each, each of us to do it 15 times. If we have this center, we can do it once, and then it gets replicated with some little tweaks here to make it fit for each country. But that's, that will save us a lot of time, it'll save us a lot of energy, it'll save us a lot of money. Many countries can rely on a broad range of untapped renewable energy and energy efficiency potentials. Across the Caribbean, we have the responsibility to displace about 160 million barrels of petroleum per year. We will do it by improving our efficiency and by developing renewables, which will be key that roles for the center. Many countries have already adopted ambitious renewable energy and energy efficiency targets and policies to address those challenges. However, major barriers continue to hinder the transformation of political commitments into real investments, jobs and business opportunities. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization assists regional organizations and their member states in the establishment of regional sustainable energy centers. I want to first express thanks to UNIDO and the Austrian Development Agency for having supported the Caribbean along with the SIDSDOC uh, to realize this uh, dream of setting up a regional center. Uh, the fact is that uh, we had been, you know, discussing and always been thinking of setting up a regional agency of sorts, but didn't know how. In 2008, when a country could no longer afford to buy fuel, and the head of state of ECOWAS took a decision to establish ECRE, the ECOWAS Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. Actually, with the support of the government of Austria, the Kingdom of Spain, and UNIDO. In order to address commonly shared barriers more effectively and at lower costs, the centres support cross-border activities and the creation of regional markets and networks. This, in turn, unlocks investment and business opportunities for the champions on the ground, who can make the energy transformation a reality. It seems that it's really an excellent way to promote exchange of experience, South-South cooperation, triangular cooperation, and therefore to advance uh, the development of sustainable energy futures. We believe that this regional sustainability centers can provide a bridge between global goals and national action. And that's where these regional centers can really play a very important focal point or nodal points for sustainability for all, for climate action, but also linking energy for productive uses, energy for development. And that's where UNIDO comes in with a very strong focus on sustainable industrial development. We feel that this is a good model to combine uh, very important measures uh, to create a good environment for uh, promoting uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency regionally. Together, the centres form the Global Network of Regional Sustainable Energy Centres, a powerful South-South multi-stakeholder platform to promote sustainable energy for all and climate resilience. Being a member of this global network of uh, centres of excellence, we can link up with other centres and have joint proposals. Uh, uh, which would uh, um, make it more attractive technically and economically. Join our network as a regional partner, champion on the ground, or lend support as a donor. Let's solve tomorrow's energy problems together today.